Welcome to Friends TV. My name is Louis Abdella. Today we have Raman Bala from the Blacktown Coalition and to talk about the upcoming council election. It's great to meet you, Raman. How are you? Thank you, Louis. Uh, good to meet you. Fantastic. Uh, I would like to thank uh, and acknowledge uh, Friends TV and my dear friend Baran uh, for his hospitality. It's a what, what a wonderful place it is. Yes, it's a great place here and Baran is such a, a good uh, person in the community. He's always willing to help people yeah. and Friends TV has been a great platform for a lot of people in the community. Yeah. Um, so Raman, talk to us a little bit about yourself and uh, you know, what made you get into politics? Um, I'm a chartered accountant and I run a financial services business living in Blacktown for many, many years. I have two beautiful daughters with my family. Uh, I, I believe Blacktown is a great place. And, um, and um, then I look around, I have a lot of family and community ties around. Uh, so that's brought me to the election. So why don't we make some changes? And um, so of, of course, of um, upcoming council elections is a good opportunity to, to drive down on that path. Awesome. Um, I, I, I heard that you were very involved in the 2015 campaign. Yeah. Talk to me a bit about that and uh, what happened then. Uh, that's a very actually interesting question and interesting journey. I joined uh, Lulu Party um, 2010, 2011. I've been part of many campaigns, including a um, campaign manager for 2012 um, and Black and Council elections. Uh, which gave me an opportunity and a platform to learn about various local issues. And uh, the, the good opportunity I, I got was in 2014-15, when I had the opportunity of running as a state, a state uh, for state parliament as a Liberal Party, uh, Liberal Party candidate for Blacktown. And uh, that was a great experience. I had thousands of door knocks I, I knocked and met a lot of beautiful people. <clears throat> And uh, I had a good understanding of what the local issues are, what the local community wants. And uh, it, was, it was a great experience. And building on that platform, I continued that journey. And uh, the upcoming council election on 4th of December uh, is, is a good, uh, good platform and a good environment uh, to be in, uh, given that we are going through one of the, uh, the um, terrific uh, health, uh, health issues, um, uh, the health pandemic, uh, yeah. COVID-19. And that's where I believe we need a council, um, Blacktown, particularly Blacktown Council, uh, which should be proactive, it should work with the community, and should deliver for you. And uh, I want to be that person, I want to be your voice for Blacktown Ward 3, where, where I could um, bring those issues and contribute to the policy platform. And uh, at the same time, I have a lot of experience in business and a community, so I want to be your voice. That's great, man, it's fantastic. And I, I also know that you were involved in the, in the federal level in 2013 as a campaign. So you've got a lot of experience in politics for some time now. Yes, as I said, I joined the Liberal Party uh, 2010 and then I was a um, part of the 2011 state campaign when the Liberal Party came in uh, state, in state, um, state parliament. And then I, I was a campaign manager, but chiefly federal campaign in 2013 and since then uh, I've been part of many federal, state, and council campaigns. Uh, so, so I know I know my stuff around. Uh, so, which is a yeah, and awesome. I'm, yeah, thank you. What are your plans for this, you know, upcoming election? Like, you know, what's your policy? What are you trying to achieve? Blacktown uh, <clears throat> is one of the fastest and the biggest regions in New South Wales. If you look at the population, the way it's growing. Uh, there's a lot of um, the demographic shift happening in front of our eyes in the last few years. A lot of new new migrants, new people, uh, youngish people have moved into the area. Uh, so it's a mix of two, basically two, two audiences. One is the traditional working class, blue collar, and then the second aspect is the aspirational uh, voters, aspirational people. So that's changing the demography of Blacktown. And uh, so that's, it's a challenge. At the same time, an opportunity uh, for us to deliver for our community. And um, I'm basically running on a key platforms where our council rates should be lower. Yeah. Because as a being a youngish fam families and even I have two beautiful daughters and I live around the area, so that the, the rates should be lower. Yeah. And uh, once we once we go back home and uh, we should have better parks, roads, infrastructure, it should be a beautiful place. That's fantastic. Yes, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. And the council services, 
not just the race, not just the, the everything, it should be the efficiency around. Um, Black Town Council employs thousands of people. It has a lot of assets in the management. So it, the council needs to run as a business. It has to be run efficiently. When you collect race from people, it's a, you are accountable to deliver to the people or the community. Similarly, you have to support your local business. If you look at uh, our community in Black Town, many, many people go outside the area. They go to CBD, they go to Parameda, they go to many, many outside places to do their work, to do their jobs, to do their business. So we go to support our local business. There's plenty of opportunity to support in that way. And South Council can be very proactive in that, do that. How can we forget the environment? We should support our environment, healthy environment, natural healthy environment. So I'm, I'm fighting, I'm contesting these elections on, on this policy, five points policy platform to encourage the community to participate more and make a difference for Black Town. That's great. Tell me, tell me more about your five um, policies. Like, can you go into a bit more depth of each one and, and what it is? Yeah, um, as I explained before, so the first is obviously efficient council services. Uh, so they're, they're, as a growing yeah. their business, so efficiently we need to we, we need to look at the workforce and then we need to look at the, what the assets we are managing. Obviously, there more room to improve, more room to grow actually yeah. as a council. Uh, so yeah, so uh, perhaps we look into that. Yeah, and also um, I, I'm I'm a big fan of having our council rates certain lower. Yes. Uh, then the CPI or should be at least um, and so we should be um, keeping our race law. Yes. Um, and also parks and environment um, as so yeah, you know, okay. roads it should should be should be good. Yeah. A healthy and natural environment, right? That's that's quite mm -hmm. top for today, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And green is a is a is environment is, is a talk of the day. Actually, it's not uh, relevant today, but uh, we should be looking after our future generations, our our kids, our grandkids. If we, if we invest in, in our future of our kids, so that's where we should be looking at the environment. And our environment, uh, there's a, obviously these are federal issues, there are many state issues, but at the council level, we should really be encouraging, as a, as a council, the investment in technology, yes. green technology, small business, there's a lot of new things coming up. So I think we should, as, as a council, uh, we should encourage as a policy platform, as a promotional platform on those aspects which, which encourage healthy environment. That's good, that's good. And I know that you have a background in finance and accounting. Mm -hmm. We talked a bit about VC funding mm -hmm. and, you know, startups. Yeah. And look, it's uh, one night in Blacktown, right? Like we have great universities out here, mm -hmm. but, you know, great young generation coming through yeah. that, you know, want to be entrepreneurs. Yeah. Like, how can we help them? What, we, what can we do for this, this generation coming through? Uh, yeah. Thank you for your question, actually. Yeah, this is a question which is very close to my heart. Uh, that's professionally, that's what I do. Uh, I'm a chartered accountant. I run a financial services business, which includes venture capital and promoting entrepreneurship. So we work with a number of startups, and startups could be in um, EdTech, Meditech, FinTech, uh, clean technology. So we, we work across a range of uh, range of sectors, and I see no reason why can't Black Town take a lead in that yeah. kind of um, uh, venture capital space. And uh, it's, it's a technology, it's an emerging technology. So we have the resources, the population, the way Black Town is growing. If we encourage those educational institutes, we bring the technology, we bring the capital, we encourage promotional grants, and that could bring a thriving business environment um, in this part of the world. That's what Black Town needs. So that will also encourage local jobs, and it will also, the new technology will facilitate the, the clean and healthy environment, which is part of the policy platform. Uh, <clears throat> So professionally and personally, I'm very invested in this kind of um, the work, uh, and um, I'll be if given the opportunity, uh, I'm happy to take a lead on this and want to be your voice for the younger generation or the business who want to expand and they want to grow business, they do jobs and offer yeah. something to the community, uh, which is very very close to my heart. That's fantastic. That's really good to hear, Raman. I like mm -hmm. that response and. I think you know there's so much to give in this area, and especially with the younger generation. Yeah, it's great to hear. Um, tell me a bit about you know why. What was your passion to get into politics? Like, why did you do it? And and just tell the people 
you know, if you were given that opportunity to, you know, be helping Blacktown Council, like, why did you first get into this now and start? I'm an accountant by background and um, yeah, I'm a finance person, as, as you know, yeah, all my background has been in finance or investment. Uh, but uh, ultimately, uh, it's all about making a difference. And uh, how you, the, the, then you look at the channels, you look at the platforms, how you can influence people, how you can influence the community, how you can influence the council, how you can influence the state or as a nation. So policy, uh, politics is, is a way where you can have influence of the policy making, policy setting, so that that makes or breaks the overall direction of the country. Uh, so that was a basic factor for me that uh, why don't we join politics and influence the policy setting? That's where the politics is. That's really good. And Raman Bar, please give us your final message for the community. My final message uh, for the Black Town community is to come and support uh, Black Town Coalition team. Ward 3, I'm your lead candidate, Raman Bala. I have a highly motivated and supportive team in Balwinder Ruby, Ghassan Nami. They are as motivated as me to serve you, to serve the community, to serve the council and deliver for you. So my message is support me and support my team by voting one for Group C. So we are in Group C and so please support us. Thank you. Fantastic, Raman Bala. It was a pleasure to meet you and thank you for sharing with Friends TV, your initiatives, your policies, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Australia's first Indian magazine to have a national reach. Indus Age is the largest circulated South Asian magazine in Australia with five simultaneous editions. 55,000 copies printed monthly, 220,000 readers, largest network of clients, undisputed leader in community news. Indus Age is circulated in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane and Perth to over 525 outlets. Grab your copy now to get the latest on the community, news from India, Bollywood, music and much more. For more info, log on to www.indusage.com.au. Thank <laughs> you.